his days. I just can't believe that he's not going to come back to us. Florence Picorni is so haunted by the death of her son, she still wakes up every night about the time he was shot. I wake up every morning, like at 3 a.m., and think of him and what he was thinking in the last moments and everything. In those final moments, prosecutors say Leslie Mollett shot Joseph Picorni with the trooper's own gun. He faces trial on murder charges in September. Just a month before the shooting, Mollett was released on parole after serving the minimum of a two to four year sentence for dealing drugs. He had a long criminal history dating back a decade. We asked the head of the state parole board about the decision to parole Mollett. In all cases where you have something tragic like this happen, did you or do you go back and reevaluate the decisions that were made? Absolutely. And in that particular case, did you come across any things that could have been differently? Um, n not of my recollection. There's definitely something wrong with the parole board. If they didn't sit down and put their heads together and say what they, uh, what they, to see what they're doing is wrong after my son's death. Team four decided to find out how many of the other parolees released in 2005 got into trouble. There were plenty. Within just two years, 2,400 of them were back in state prison after committing new crimes. And that does not include people like Mollett, who were in county jails. The parolees gone bad include Andrew Henley of Duquesne, charged with shooting several people in a McKeesport bar, then getting into a shootout with police in Homestead when they tried to arrest him. Just five months earlier, Henley was paroled after serving the minimum sentence for robbery and assault. Then there's Nikki Evans of the North Side. He was paroled in August 2005 after serving the minimum sentence for robbery. Nine months later, in May 2006, police say Evans shot and killed Joshua Todd as he was talking with his girlfriend in Spring Hill. You have this feeling inside, it's like a hole, it's empty. It's like there's a part of your life that's never going to be the same. Joanne Todd, like Florence McCorney, is still angry over the early release of the man charged with killing her son. His release caused my son's death. And the system that let him out without some kind of checks and balance here, it's just not acceptable. That's something, that's something wrong. Evans had a history of violence, but that's no deterrent to parole. In 2005, 43% of all violent offenders in state prison were paroled, up from 30% in 1998. I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear that almost half of all violent offenders are being paroled. The parole system does not create the sentence. We're not the judge and we're not the jury. But they do decide whether an inmate gets out early. Mrs. Todd says that's a decision that should be made rarely, especially for violent offenders. If it comes down to building more prisons to keep them where they should be, then build more prisons. The system that allowed that Nikki Evans out of jail did not work. It failed and it hurt me. You don't get over a loss of a child, never. It's the most terrible thing that could ever happen to me in my life. They let out this hardened criminal to rehabilitate his life. And he's, he wasn't going to rehabilitate his life. He killed my son. And I want to know, my family, with my whole life, I want them to explain to me how they could do that.